and work through this problem, okay? Uh, so step one is the picture, and I know the picture's over there, so I am gonna redraw it, okay? So here is oven mitt, okay? And he's pushing on a box. The box has a mass of 20 kilograms. The force of oven mitt, or the push, was given as 200 newtons. Mu sub S, is it 0.7? And mu sub k was given as 0.1, okay? So that would have normally been given in words. It would have said, oven mitt is pushing on a box of mass 20 kilograms with a force of 200 newtons. The coefficient of static and kinetic friction are 0.7 and 0.1 respectively, something like that. I didn't put it in words, but you got the idea, okay? Step two, actually, before I do step two, which way do you want to be positive? Probably up into the right is positive, okay? Notice, I haven't mentioned this officially. I've been doing it. Okay, if we're going to sum forces in the x and the y, do we have to say which way is positive in both the x and the y? Yes. yes. Okay. So on your next test, uh, if you want to do something other than up and right positive, you sure as heck better write it. Otherwise, I will assume that you're calling up and right positive for your problems. Okay. All right, next step, free by diagram. I'm going to go ahead and put that down here. Okay. So we have the normal force, and this is the free by diagram for the box. We have the weight. We have the force of the push. And we have force of friction. We don't know what kind yet. Okay? How many people got the free by diagram right? If you got the free by diagram right, you didn't? You got it right? Okay. If you got the free by diagram right, eventually on almost all of these problems with enough practice, if you get the free by diagram right, you'll get the problem right. Okay? This one's a little bit different because it's a will it move problem. Okay? So what do we have to overcome for this box to move? Whatever. What kind of friction? Static, one more word. Mass. Force of friction, static, mass. mass. Okay. So the force of the push has to be bigger than the force of friction, static, max. So I'm going to do a comparison between the force of the push, and I'm going to put absolute value because I'm just talking about the size of these two arrows. We don't care about the direction, just which one's bigger. Okay. Force of the push. Can I record? Yes, I did. That's going to be very entertaining for anybody that watches this, okay? Force of the push, thank you, just have a seat. We're just working through the opener. Force of the push compared to, the size of the force of the push compared to force of friction static max, okay? I'm given the force of the push. We know that that's 200 newtons. So I need to calculate force of friction static max. Well, if we're talking about the maximum value, we get to write equals. That's important equals mu sub s times the normal force. Are we given mu sub s? Yes. Are we given the normal force? No. Question. Do we have to do that comparison on? Yes, absolutely. Or you have to write it out in words. You have to calculate this, calculate this, and say the force of the push is greater than, or in magnitude is greater than the force of friction static max. Therefore, it moves. How will we know which problem we're going to do it on? If you have both of these, it's a will it move. Okay. Yeah. If you have just this, it's, a, it's in motion. If you have just this, you can assume it's stationary. If you're given both, you've got to figure out if it's going to move or not. But this is way easier than writing it out in words, right? Yeah. It's quicker. But I just didn't know yeah. like, which problem. Yes. On a will move problem, you have to have the comparison. So look for when they give you both values. Yep, that's the tip-off. Right. Because you're given both, so you don't know if you've overcome static friction max or not. Okay. So how are we going to get the normal force? Okay. So this is not given. Look at your free by diagram. It's in the y direction. So we are going to sum the forces in the y direction. And is this based on my picture? Okay, it's, it's being pushed on horizontally okay, on a flat surface. Okay. Is there any acceleration in the y direction? No. no. So we put a 0. So force of the push. Oh, no, no, no. The normal force, this is the y direction. The normal force plus the weight equals 0. Okay. Now somewhere here off to the side, I'm going to calculate the weight. Weight equals mass times acceleration due to gravity. Our mass is 20 kilograms times a negative 9.8. What is that? 196. Yeah. We've had that number before. 196 newtons. I'm going to make it a negative because of what I call positive. So the normal force minus 196 newtons equals zero. Normal force equals 196. How many people got the correct normal force? All right, so we're getting progress. That's most of you. Okay, so normal force is 196 newtons. Can I calculate this now? Yes. Yep, so let's do that. Mu sub s is 0.7 times uh, 196 newtons. That's definitely less than 200, so it's going to move. But what is that? 0.7 times 196, I don't know. 
137.2. Okay, now remember, when I go into here, there's no signs. When I come out of there, there's signs. So technically, static match would go to the left. If you want, you can put a negative on there. Okay, if you were going to plug it back into something other than absolute values, you'd have to put a negative on there. Okay, but in this case, we're taking the absolute value anyway. So we have these two values. Which one's bigger? Force of the push. Therefore, it moves. Okay. Yes, you have to have that. As long as you have both of these numbers clearly labeled somewhere on the paper, the force of the push or whatever it is you're comparing to, and the static max, you don't have to like actually plug the numbers in. As long as these are clearly written, like with the, the variable equals, okay, you can just do that. It moves. Okay. If it didn't move, let's say it was the other way around, the inequality was flipped. What would our answer be to the question we asked, which was acceleration in the x direction? That's what we're trying to find. Okay. What would the answer be? Zero. So if you ever get this inequality the other way, this is bigger than whatever you're comparing to, your answer to the acceleration is zero, or it doesn't move. Okay. But it does move. Okay. So now we've tried to find the acceleration. We're going to sum the forces in the? We've already done that. X. Okay. So I'm going to sum the forces in the x direction. Set it equal to max, and my advice is to do these in columns by each other somewhere. Okay, uh, and we've got how many forces? One, two, force of push, and now we know the kind of friction. What kind is it? Kinetic. Kinetic. So actually, now I'm going to get rid of this question mark since I know it's moving. I'm going to go ahead and put a k. All right, and now I'm going to plug in. Except we don't have everything. We have the mass. Put a check. We have the force of the push. We don't have friction kinetic. What we currently have. We do have a force of friction, but that's static max. Are they the same thing? No. no. Why aren't they the same thing? Well, we've got different coefficients. Once it gets moving, it's easier, right? Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and calculate that somewhere over here on the side. Force of friction kinetic equals mu sub k times the normal. Mu sub k is point 0.1. The normal force. Normal force doesn't change because we haven't changed anything in the y direction. We're still not moving in the y direction. Okay, and the normal force was 196 newtons. Let's just divide by 10, 19.6 newtons. All right, now remember, in this equation, okay, does this give you any information about signs? No, okay? So when you get your answer here, you have to put the sign on it. Here's why, I wanna review this because I don't think everybody has it. Can you stand up and borrow your desk for a second? All right, so now well, people on camera can't see this. I'm just pushing a desk one way than the other, okay? If I push the desk this way, point which way friction goes? That way, right? All right, now which way does the normal force go? Up, okay? So let's call this direction negative. So the friction was negative, okay? Now I'm going to push the other way, point. Which way does friction go? Yes, okay? So that would be, I don't know what it's, I'm pushing this way, friction goes this way, right? Okay. So that would be positive. Okay. But did the normal force flip directions? No, it was still what? Up. Okay. So you can't get the sign for friction from the normal force. Why can't you get the sign for friction from the normal force? What direction is the normal force in? It's in the Y, right? What direction is friction in? The X. They're independent of each other. That's why you have to add the sign. And by the way, mu doesn't have a sign. It's just always positive. Okay, it's just a coefficient. Okay? Uh, it's a ratio between these two numbers. Friction <coughs> over normal. Okay? So you have to add the sign. And you just saw in that example, friction could go either way depending on what? Your picture and your free by diagram. So for us, in this problem, which way is friction going? To the left. And that is, in this problem, that is a what? Negative. negative. Okay? That's really important that you put the negative on there. Okay? It will matter. If you've gotten lucky on a couple homework problems and they've worked out, uh, at some point, this will come up and bite you if you don't have the negative on there, okay? All right, so now let's go ahead and plug in because we know everything. We're just summing the force in the X. Push is 200, and that is positive. Minus 19.6 newtons equals the mass, which was 20 kilograms, times the acceleration. Somebody that had this line, what did you get when you did the algebra? What was the final answer? Go ahead. 9.02 meters over second. 9.2 meters per second squared. Positive or negative? Hopefully it's positive because we decided it was moving the way we were pushing. How many people got that? All right. Questions? Anywhere along the way? 
<coughs> try to give me a ballpark, like you got lost in summation of the y, you got lost in summation of the x, maybe you didn't know why we did this, or the comparison, maybe the free-by diagram, maybe the weight, where did I lose you? If you know. Hopefully you should know where it didn't make sense. But. Questions? Anybody? All right, I'll leave that up there for a minute. It will eventually, like I said, be a video problem. Uh, but if you got all most of the way through it, you might want to just fix it up.